Hello everyone! This is the one, the only, the truest Lord Pancake. Except no substitutes, because they're probably from EA and they will charge you $5.99 to DLC the audio from the video you are currently watching. So, we're going to have a very special episode of the Pancake Plays today. A little bit different than our usual. Instead of doing a review, I'm actually going to be doing a quick troubleshooting video as well as expressing some thoughts on some matters. Now, this is a problem that comes up with games that are purchased through EA Games Origin System. It seems to specifically affect a little bit older titles like Mass Effect 3 or Battlefield 4 and so forth. You buy the game, you pay your money for it, you download it, you click to install, and you might see an error that says DirectX failed to install properly, or DirectX error failed to install properly. I don't have the error anymore on any of my titles, so I can't give you an example, but if you see it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So, because I've seen a lot of forum topics on it, and even a few YouTube videos as well, figured I'd take my crack at doing a quick walkthrough for it for people, so you can get past this if you're having this issue. So, easiest way to uh, get past it, and it resolves it really quickly, is you go into your file system, so go to your start menu, click on computer, double click on your hard disk, if your mouse is working properly, which mine unfortunately is acting a little janky, go into Program Files x86, and then you want to locate the Origin folder. Now, some people say their games are in the uh, regular Origin folder, some people have them in Origin Games, or you might have it set up to install somewhere else. That would be something that you would actually have to set up in your settings, so you probably know where that is. Or you just need to go into your settings and give, your, give yourself a reminder. So you go, into your, you go into your games list, and you find the title that you're having an issue with. We'll use Mass Effect 3, since that is the one I initially had the problem with. Go into there, and you're going to look for your installer folder. Go into the installer folder, and locate the uh, DirectX folder. Now sometimes it doesn't actually have the DirectX folder in there. Sometimes it'll take you, you'll see the these two folders just directly in the install folder. You're gonna look for the one that's the uh, Redist folder or R-E-D-I-S-T and you're gonna want to double click into there and you should see something that looks similar to this. If it doesn't appear this way at first if you click on type over here, it will give you, it lists it out by type and organize it that way, and it should end up looking like this here. So, next thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to click and hold, drag to highlight all of these, and then you can right click, and you can cut and save them into a new folder if you want, or you can just straight up delete them. I personally just delete them, because if you're having problems with the install anyway, you're gonna have you're gonna need to uh, have these reinstalled to begin with. So you'll be fine if you delete them. So after you're done with that, the only folder files you should have left in here are the DX setup. DS setup dot DLL, DS setup 32 dot DLL. Those three will remain. Then you should be able to close that out. And what I would recommend is uh, <clears throat> going back into Origin, going into uh, your games library, click on the one you need to install and have it install. From that point on, it should install properly without a problem. If it does, what I would recommend is completely uninstalling the game and then reinstalling it from scratch, just in case you may have you might have accidentally snagged uh, 
one of those three files I listed up there, that'll put that back in there for you, no problem. So, or alternatively, you can go to your recycle bin and drag it and drop it back into the file and try it that way as well. Now, the next issue I want to talk about is after you do that, you might still run into another problem where it says PhysX failed to initialize. Make sure you have the latest version of PhysX. And while well, that might sound like it's a, a problem from NVIDIA and their PhysX engine, it actually is not. Because it's only affecting EA titles download. Well, I'm only having it affect EA titles downloaded through Origin. I've never seen it coming up with others, but it does seem like more of a EA origin problem than a NVIDIA one. So to resolve this, it's very, very simple. It only takes a few seconds. You go again to your start menu. You go into control panel. You look for programs. Uninstall a program. You select that. And you can either scroll through your list here or you can type in the search here and type in just NV should pull up NVIDIA. And you're looking for NVIDIA PhysX. Now it may be listed just as PhysX, depending on uh, which version you have and how everything is set up. So you can just, instead of typing, uh, if you type in NV and you don't see it, just type in PH and that should pull it up there. But once you have the file, you gonna go ahead and right click on it and you're gonna select repair. Not uninstall, you're just gonna select repair. It'll run the repair uh, program on it real quick. It only takes a few seconds. And after that's done, you should be able to launch your game normally. I encountered both of these problems with Mass Effect 3 and those are the solutions that ended up working for me. I hope that, along with the visuals, helped make it a little bit better for people to understand. And I hope that did help people out. So now we move on to the rant. Yay! So here's why this really, really bothers me. EA is a major AAA company. They charge more than almost anyone else out there for their games. They have like $100 titles out there. And usually it's for like aesthetic DLC or lazy DLC for people that don't want to actually play the game and things like that. And this shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't happen through uh, their origin thing because that is on them to have it updated. The issue is that their files that they're including with the uh, download aren't up to date. They're not matching with what is current with uh, DirectX and NVIDIA's PhysX and things like that. They're failing to do their job of updating it and they're still charging people for these titles. Battlefield 4 is from 2013. Mass Effect 3, I forget how old that one is, but it's been out for a while, and I understand. they. It costs money to maintain these things. It, you know, there's someone they have to pay for their time to go in and update these files. But again, they're a AAA company. They should be able to do that. That shouldn't be an issue for them, especially when they charge $50 for some versions of Battlefield 4 and $30 for versions of Mass Effect. It's not like these titles are like the original disc copy of Doom 3 where you have to go in and do some modifications to get it to run in current resolutions and things like that. Or like this isn't some like small indie <coughs> company that you know that just may not have the manpower or time to do everything that they want. And, you know it's on their to-do list they're trying to get to it as fast as they can but they're worried about trying to keep the doors open. This is a AAA company. They should have a higher standard than this. It's about professionalism and a complete lack of it on their origin thing. And honestly, the whole origin thing just seems like it's a very half-hearted effort. Just them trying to cut out the middleman. And you can say, oh, well, Steam does that too. But Steam is different. 
Steam has also given a massive platform to indie developers and things like that. It has brought more lifeblood into the industry than it's taken away. And we all knew Direct DLC was, com was coming anyway. So it's not like they invented the concept. They're... <laughs> And I have downloaded Doom 3, actually, th via Steam. And I didn't have to tweak it at all to get it to run in modern resolutions. I, I didn't have to spend the first hour of my time that I should have been spent playing a game, searching around Google and things like that, and trying different troubleshooting methods, because I tried a few different ones before I stumbled upon that one I showed you with a... Clearing out the DirectX folder. That shouldn't happen. Especially, again, not from a company as big as EA is. If you're going to be releasing titles every year and you're going to be charging $100 for like the special editions and $60 for each and every title, then get your stuff running right. Don't make people have to troubleshoot a product that they paid their money for just to get it to work. That's just really, really crappy, and EA should be ashamed of themselves for that. Because, honestly, as someone who wants to review and actually would love to do reviewing for a living, I would love to give props to, like, Titanfall 2. That is an amazing game. I love that game. I'm having so much fun with it. I went through it in just, like, two sittings because I could not put it down. But I almost don't want to give it a review because... I don't think the EA deserves it. Respawn, the company that people that actually developed it deserve it, but EA doesn't deserve that kind of money. You know, not when, you know, there's independent developers releasing great titles out there that do a better job of maintaining their files than a AAA company, and they're barely scraping by. Because if they're an independent developer, people don't want to. People get upset if they have to pay more than three dollars for the game. Sometimes. Okay, that rant is over. That's just my thoughts on that entire situation. And again, I hope my troubleshooting steps did help you out there and helps you enjoy your titles that you purchased because you should be able to enjoy them. You paid for them. And if you like my video, make sure you click like. Make sure you subscribe and feel free to share. Okay, and thank you all very much and you have a good day. I'll see you next time.